Do you talk too much or maybe too little? Do you know how long it takes someone to make a first impression of you? You can really damage your chances in an interview if your answers are shorter than they were expected or if you ramble on and on, not letting the interviewer get any thoughts in. In this video, you are going to learn exactly how long to talk for, how long each interview is, and how to make sure you hit all the points you want them to know without running out of time. All right, so how to interview well. People will make an impression of you in about two seconds. Some people will say seven seconds. You have seven seconds to make your first impression. So when you jump into that um, meeting room in Zoom or whatever you're going to be in for your interviews, make sure you're smiling, waiting with a huge smile, staring at the camera until that other person shows up. Okay. Don't be fidgeting, fixing your water and all that looking down. Make sure you're staring right at them with a, the, with the not a, uh, a, a serial killer smile, but a nice smile. Work on your smile. Make sure you know what you look like and stare at that camera because those first seven seconds when they're trying to figure out if their mic is on or off, they see you and you want to make sure you leave a great impression. The alternative is an in-person, same exact thing. A firm, nice handshake, a big hello, um, and making constant con eye contact with a smile for those first five to seven seconds. And then look away, because if you keep staring, that's, you know, serial killer. All right, then after those first seven seconds, now you have two minutes to establish, is this going to be a good interview or is this going to be a sucky interview? So those first two minutes, if they ask you that great question of tell me about yourself, you're gonna give that amazing, amazing answer about who you are, right? It, you're, it's going to be your um, your accomplishments or you know where I came from. It's going to be um, uh, the last. Um, now I'm blanking on it. That last part of what you're looking for, right? You're going to go through those three aspects, and you are going to give that in under two minutes, and that is going to set the direction for an outstanding interview. Now that may not be the first question, and they may do a little bit of small talk. That's okay. Um, remember, during that little bit of small talk, people like to hear themselves talk. So you can end certain, you know, if they ask you a question, answer it directly, or you can repeat the last three words and get them to talk a little bit more. 20 seconds to two minutes is how long any answer you give. You're never going to do a one word answer. You are always going to do qualifiers, right? So I'll say, oh, you went running, you went to the gym today. Yeah, I went to the gym today. I got to work in, I've got to work out for about 30, 30 minutes. Usually I like to do an hour. But yeah, I got to do that this morning before I, got, I came here. You know, you guys have great facilities. So that, that was off the top of my head. It wasn't that great, but it was 20 seconds roughly. So you want to make sure your answers are between 20 seconds and two minutes, no longer, no less. The time in general is not on your side. So you're going to have to meet with anywhere between two to 10 people throughout the day. You are usually meeting with them for a minimum of 15 minutes, a maximum of 30 minutes. So there's those windows. You have to um, stick to the schedule that they had. And if you're there in person, you're often being shuffled and shuffled and shuffled different places. You can't really establish a good rapport with anyone while during those periods. So that's why practicing these things over and over and over and over will make sure that you perfect those two minute intervals that you're actually gonna be talking. You wanna know your time. Oh, well, uh, sorry. One other of these things with this time is not on your side. You wanna... Um, you want to follow a 50-50 rule. So if you notice that you're doing most of the talking, you want to kind of turn back, give some questions to the, the interviewer. We talked about some five, or we talked about about seven great questions that you can ask them. So you want to work those in there so that you know that they are talking for about 50% of the time, anywhere between 30 to 50% of the time. Okay. If they're talking way too much, that's when you want to comment on what they're saying and work in one of your answers that you've already prepared. All right, know your time and set a timer. It, 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 it costs you nothing to set, you know, if, if the camera's right there, you can put your phone down over, down over there and hit start on a timer. If you know it's supposed to be 20 minutes, hit start on that timer so you can follow the time, okay? So you know exactly how much time is left. So if there's certain things that you wanted to ask, you want to get in before those 20 minutes are up. Um, otherwise, the, some places will just 
literally cut you off and you won't be able to leave that lasting impression about giving them the idea of you and their program come July. Thank you.